Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Mana. In the last episode, we defeated Geshtar and got kicked off of the sand ship, or they commandeered it and took off. And in uh, this episode, we intend to return the Fire Seed to the Fire Palace. And I'm going to take you the fast way to it. Inside many of these little um, sand pits here are these little guys. And they will not hesitate to repeatedly cast a whole bunch of things on you. Ooh, we confused him. We can probably find him back now. So, notice that even though he's underground, we can hit him in this version of the game. In the Super Nintendo version of the game, you could not hit them unless they were until they were above ground. So in other words, you had to hop in the pit with them and then they'd come out and attack you. So, alright, I like to go around the sides here and come down. I'm going over here. Oh, we got a new enemy. Is this a uh, Mad Mallard, I believe? Yep, the Mad Mallard. He likes to spawn pumpkins, um, which can explode on you, cast burst on you, and they can shoot their little, um, well, for lack of a better word, I guess, egg bombs. I was going to call them butt bombs, but egg bombs really was the better word. <laughs> but yep, they like to crawl around and launch those little bombs at you. What does that look like? Should probably, it would be really cool if we take a look at it in slow-mo or something. But they're not all that dangerous of an enemy. Alright. So here we are at the um, fire palace there. One thing I would like to check. So one thing I want to comment on I think too. So down there at the very bottom of the screen on the left hand side we have mana power. and We have three of them. That also dictates what level we can um, level all of our magics to. So since we have three, we can only get it to three. Even though we have the fourth seed, it's not returned and the sword isn't synced with it, so we can't take advantage of the power. Oh! So we have another enemy hidden in the ground there. That's an advantage of multi-targeting, as you can sometimes see the enemies that are hidden. Out of sight is not out of mind. Well, I guess it is out of mind, but it's not trying to kill me until... It becomes aware. Cool. Rainy and Prim over that. It's a shame. If only I had gotten to analyze it, I would have saved one MP. Granted, I could just open it and deal with the trap they're in, if anything, but... It's also an excuse to level it, so whatever. Candy won't fit. Alright. So we have a new enemy right up here. Not him. That guy over there. Robin Foot. I believe it's Robin Foot. Oh. Oh, he's spamming me. Sorry, sir, but I too can cause massive damage. Would you let, let him move, please? I want to show off the new enemy. So, these guys aren't too much of a problem, honestly. Yep, they're Robin Foots. Chobin Hood and Robin Foot. So, is Chobin Foot an actual thing? So it's weird, in the Super Nintendo version of the game, I'm pretty sure your boomerang would be able to hit them, but because of the way the, I guess, terrain is, you can't hit them all that well. So why don't we use Energy Absorb? They can cast Flame Saber, and in case um, I haven't covered that Flame Saber, if you get hit by a um, weapon of Flame Saber, it can set you on fire, just like Blaze Wall. Ooh, I didn't know if he used it, but I wouldn't want to be hit. So when you walk in these doors, there will be two uh, Robin Foots on either side of the door that will jump forward and try to shoot you. So what I like to do is run up here. Now, that little trap there is worse than the Super Nintendo version of the game because they are guaranteed to do that. Bow's level 3, alright. Can it go up to level 4? Wherefore art thou, Bow? There you are, yes you can go up to level 4. And everyone's still leveling with their weapons, so I'll just leave them on it. Alright, so I don't remember the perfect way through the dungeon in this case, uh, but I know it's not this way. Skip on this way. See, so you could fight the enemies in the other room, but there's no point. You can't go any further from that place. I really like... oh, nice one-shot. I really like the aesthetics here in this dungeon. Just the whole color scheme, just the warm lights, and no, no pun intended, the fire temple of all things. Whoa! No way we're getting past those flames. Not true. And the bow. One regret about the bow. Long animation, but 
We have Dark Funks. They like to cast fire spells and set you on fire, so try not to get hit by them. And... The flames are too strong for Freeze to blow them out. Yeah, the flames, much too powerful. They don't cause you any damage, but we can't go any further in here because we have the lava thing in the way. So instead of trying to freeze the flames, let's blow the flames away at the sheer shockwave of the explosion. Makes sense to me. All right, we blew the fire out. And respawned the enemies. Let's take care of them quickly. Hey, why not? Free experience, right? Ooh, you're about to hit us. Run over here, fellows. Oh, didn't hurt. Good. All right, Grim. Why don't you take a look at that chest? It'd be really cool if Analyzer actually told you what was inside the chest as well as remove the traps. But, beggars can't be choosers. I was really hoping it wasn't a fairy walnut, because I'd be like, man, I could've used it on my boy. And red drops. You might have saw them briefly in the other room. They like to touch you and set you on fire. So don't let it happen. Otherwise, they're completely the same as green drops in that respect. Just more health, more damage. And probably more defense as well. Excellent. I think, honestly, there's nothing in this area. Yes. I mean, maybe if there was an orb you hadn't picked up at this point, maybe they'd put it there, but pure speculation. I have the slightest idea if that's a thing that they had considered doing or had done. Because I always try to pick up every single chest along the way, everywhere in these dungeons. Yep, oh, 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 see, she's on fire. And fire is hot. So I'll just let her suffer because it's a lot easier to cast cure water on everybody. Water. Water. It's so powerful. It's always good to keep Undine up to par with levels, and I don't want to go down there, I don't think. Or down there. You might actually end up earlier in the dungeon and have to backtrack all the way around, so I choose not to. Alright, let's take out the Robin Foots. Good. So I don't actually remember what to use here. No, I do. So there's a way to remember what to use here, I believe. And you see those little fireballs on the side? That's how I look at it. So it means you should probably cast Fireball there to reveal the path here. Yep. So that's a nice little way to remember it. Just seeing those things triggered my memory. So, there's a really cool thing you can do in real life, mind you, to help you remember things. And it's like a memory palace. And that's to picture kind of zany things to, that are associated with the thing, at least somewhat remotely, I guess, to remember it. So, in order to remember certain numbers and things, um, like the, for some odd reason, um, well, let me, let me take it back. No, I can do this. My goodness. Make a decision. So, I picture zero like a whirlpool because, you know, it kind of spins like a whirlpool down the drain. It's in a zero shape. And one is a spear from Secret of Mana. Two is a swan. Three is a, a, a well, the number three, a sideways heart or something. Because, you know, when you look at a normally drawn heart on the side, it looks like a number three. Gloves are level four. I mean, she probably took great advantage of the um, intelligence and wisdom bonus. More the wisdom bonus, but... I want to level other things. Let's go with the Partisan, because slimes and lizards. We get slimes here. But you can use those things to kind of um, remember numbers in a sequence, or um, special bits of information and whatnot. So, I've created because... Um, I wanted to improve my memory, so I created essentially my own little memory palace. And it's not of my own original making, I'd actually seen it through, um... What's his name? It's been so long. But I believe his name is Dominic O'Brien, he's a memory palace guy. Because he's a World Time Memory Championship guy, I read his stuff and I thought it's really cool. Nope, not paid to say it, just a free plug for him. If anyone sees these videos. So yeah, went through 00, zero all the way to 99 and have images for all of those things so I can remember numbers and things.
but I can also use those um, pictures and things and put them in places in my house to attach the other sorts of memories and things to them. And we can just run by them. Remember, you can use the special warp they added in this game. Hmm. Where did I come from there? I am so forgetful. Let's see, he doesn't need chakra hand. Constitution, make him tanky. At least I think constitution helps reduce the damage you take, physically anyway. This appears to be the right way to go. Oop! That's what I get for trying to push him. And I didn't catch the spell that was cast, but I probably didn't like it. Awesome. So yeah, I haven't refreshed my memory palace in a long time, but it's something I use on occasion to remember things. Like I've used it to memorize, like, uh, driver's license, um, debit card numbers, um, you know, all these different sorts of information, just so I can have it in my head. And no, I'm not going to give you an example by saying my debit card number to prove to you that I can show it from memory, because, well, I might be slow, viewers, but I'm not that slow. And I'm poor, anyway. <laughs> Ooh, another chest. Now let's hope it's a fairy walnut since I used one. What's that over there? Robin for me? It's really nice to see things off screen. Man, they really try to run. I think they took away that ability in the uh, Super Nintendo, or not in the Super Nintendo, for the other guys. The Chobin, um, Chobin Hoods. Oop, sorry, Sprite. <laughs> I dodged the blow just for you to take it. And I just did it again for Prim to take it. Alright, I don't want to deal with them. Yet. So you do have to go up here, however. And you have to hit the switch. And it opened the way to the right down there. And the shot in the face. But better me to tank it than uh, Prima Popoi. Awesome. Took a good hit there. And running around here. Boop. Pretty high damage, considering. Let's see. Gotta switch to the whip here. Oh good, somehow that stopped midair. When I jump in. Oh good, he jumped over the arrow and didn't get hit with it. You know what? You're here. Yeah, casting magic doesn't protect you from damage in this. Unlike the Super Nintendo version of the game. Whoop. I think we just avoided that. Entering screens is nice, though. Where are you guys running? Where are you guys running to? Something very intriguing about that wall. Maybe he's on the same floor that Chobin Hood or whatever it was that they're attracted to. And so they still felt aggression. What the heck? Okay, you burn in this room. Yeah, it is pretty hot. Alright, you're done burning. Why don't we cast Cure Water? water. Cure water. Awesome. Thanks. Step on the switch here. Alright, we've got an orb here. So, I think for this one, we've used every other spell. Is it Lava Wave? No. Alright, how about... Fire Bouquet. Well, viewers, I'm stumped. Let's actually use uh, Sylphid to see what we have to use here. Is it Freeze this time? I get the feeling it's Freeze this time. Oh, how convenient. Yep, it's Freeze this time. Well, I think you had to cast it. I don't think walking in between here would reveal this until you cast the spell, so... Not a 
total waste, I guess. I got the level out of it. And it's boss time! Whoa! Get ready for the Minotaur! Jeez, I can't hit him. So Minotaur! He likes to stab you with his horns. He likes to cast Defender on himself. So he, he takes a lot less damage. Oh, he likes to throw you on the ground and knock you out. Which is... Ooh, and punch you. Neither of which is very convenient or conducive to life. So... Let's defend our lives by taking his. Aggression is always the answer. This is an RPG. Whoa! And I don't know if I said it, but he stabs at his horns. Oh, and I'm sure there's RPG. Defender level 7, jeez. He is weak to Sylphid, by the way. And I'm sure there's RPGs where you don't have aggress uh, aggression in it. He turns red when he's low on health and super aggressive, and... Well, he's dead. And it looks like we leveled up with that. Awesome. Sweet, we did it. Way to go, we got the Javelin's Orb. Alright, let's continue on up here and return the Fire Seed to its rightful place. Automatically. Gotta synchronize with the seed. I wonder. Huh. They'll let me leave here from the looks of it. But they would not let me leave in Sprite's place. Awesome, we've synchronized with the Mana Seed. Alrighty. I know I missed something in here, actually, come to think of it. There's one specific thing I did not grab, and I don't believe I came from that area. That one I said I wasn't sure I entered in. So I think I'm gonna quickly go back for that. At least I'll try to, anyway. Oh, it's probably this side, ain't it? Um, game. Thank you. Yeah, it's an orb of some kind, I believe. I was just saying earlier in this episode how I never skip over orbs, and I want to make sure I get every single one, and here I am, running right by the thing. But, eh, so as not to be a hypocrite and to show you that I do try to go for everything along the way, I'm going to go grab it. But yeah, earlier I was talking about that whole, um, memory palace thing. Wait, that actually might be a different one. So I was talking to you about the memory palace thing. You know, if you guys want to check that out and improve your own memory, uh, go on ahead, go for it. Look up those sorts of things and, uh, well, see if you can't improve your own memory to remember some pretty cool stuff. And here's the, uh, chest that I had almost ignored. Yep, the axe orb. Can't forget that. Alright. So, I believe that'll do it for us this time around. Next time on Secret of Mana, we'll actually end up heading toward... We're gonna... Well, I'll meet you back in Kakara on the next episode of Secret of Mana. I might start it out with um, one of those special cutscenes. And, well... Yeah, and then we're going to be using the cannon travel because we're going to be heading to a brand new place. Take care, guys. Have a good one. God bless, and bye bye